The whole family loves Kids Radio. This is Kids Radio, 1140 AM. Kids Radio. Hey, this is Robbie Q broadcasting live from 1140 AM Kids Radio. Right now we're with, I'm with Mr. Bill Huffsey. Mr. Huffsey, you're a big star in show business at an early age. What was it like breaking into the business and how did you get started? Hmm. What was it like? Very, very difficult. Show business is really, really, really a difficult business. And um, what I did is I worked really, 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 really hard. I studied. I took um, uh, dance classes, acting, singing, um, play five instruments. So I figured when I went to Hollywood, if uh, any role was out there that, that they needed to sing and act or act and dance or, you know, throw in an instrument, I was ready for them. So I think a lot of my success uh, was predicated on me being able to do a lot of different things. You know, I always say, you know, well, maybe I wasn't the best actor or the best singer or the best dancer, but I could do all three. Make sense? Uh-huh. Okay. Triple threat? I was a triple threat. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think that's really, really important because if you notice the, the kids shows today, all the shows that you guys like, you know, uh, whether it's Big Time Rush, Hannah Montana, um, uh, victorious, uh, you know, it's all, what, what do they have to do? Sing, dance, act. So it's coming full circle. In the 80s, when I was a youngster, you had to do that because I was on a TV show called Fame, uh-huh. which was like the biggest show in the world. It was yep. huge, yeah. And um, I got to sing and dance and act. How do you think shows like Glee are changing the business for kids our age? Well, Glee is mm, beyond huge. It's big, 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 big show. It's crazy big. And you know what I like about what I like about the, the shows like Glee and Big Time Rush? You could sing, you can dance, you can act. Now, what it does, it changes because young people see that kind of stuff, and then they would be able to say to themselves, "Hey, you know what? I could do this. Oh, this is something I would like to do." You know, because a lot of times people think, oh, you're you're a man or you're, you know, you're a guy. You can't be a dancer. That's for sissies. Well, that's not true because before I was a dancer, I was a fighter and I was an undefeated boxer. So, you know, it's not for sissies. I'm here to tell you, you know, it opens up all of those cool things to young people that that they say in their hearts. I like to do that. And guess what? I see it being done. I could do that. And I want to do that. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It's really kind of a cool thing. So that's what I think it's changing young people's, is giving them the opportunity to, to dream. Since you have been helping kids and parents get into show business, can you tell me who um, the coolest ones that you've helped? Everybody's cool. And I'm going to help you, so you're cool too, right? Okay. Um, well, I, w- one extraordinary, and, and I'll, I'll talk about this guy here because... Um, He's sitting in front of me here. Um, I I met a kid when he was 14 years old. And he said, I I really want to be an actor. And and what? And a singer. And a what? And a dancer. Yeah. And he was 14 years old. So I said, son, if you work and you work really, really hard, I could get you there. I could get you there. But you got to work really, really, really hard. And he worked very, very hard. When he's 14 to 15 to 16 and 17 years old, I says, okay. I says, okay, dude. You ready? Come to Hollywood, and you know what's crazy about it is? He's going to be here tomorrow, and you're going to be interviewing him, James Maslow of Big Time Rush. And I I worked with him, uh, been working with him since he's 14 years old. And uh, and, uh, you should tell him that you know me. For you to come to Las Vegas, you must be doing something really cool. What what are you doing in Vegas? Well, what I'm doing in in Las Vegas, I'm working with the uh, young people on Hollywood Kids Academy. Um, and it's all ages from, well, actually, we're, we're, we're starting them out like six, seven years old, all the way to 30 years old. And it's a triple threat school. So I'm, I'm partnered with Hollywood Kids Academy, and we're going to create um, the opportunity for, for all of the kids in Las Vegas to be able to not only sing, dance, and act, but also I come in and I coach every week and get them ready to to get ready for television and movies and commercials. You know that there's a different technique in acting on theater than there is when you're doing television. Make sense? Uh-huh. And what, I, what I'm a, a specialist in is I teach and coach 
uh, young folks how to get the job on TV. So that's really, really cool. And you know what? There's so many really talented uh, young people in Las Vegas for many reasons. First of all, one reason is there a lot of their parents are talented and they work in the casinos and they're singers and dancers. And the kids are really gifted with having their parents to be talented. So it kind of falls on them. And, and, and you know what? There's not a lot of opportunity if you live in Las Vegas. And what I'm what I really am passionate about doing is helping people in Las Vegas to have the opportunity to audition for a big time rush. Ugly, and that's what I'm doing here. So we're really excited about working with all all the talented young people here in Las Vegas. If we show you a move or two, can you help? Can you do the thriller dance with us? The thriller dance? Oh, I don't know. What uh, what, what 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 do I have to do? Could you do it? Yeah. You got to show me. 